Yo, what is good everybody? Dusty4Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to check out a brand new pair I just got in. Completely unreleased so far as far as retail goes. And that's going to be the Jordan 1 patent in the bread colorway. Let's go ahead and check them out. Alright, so today's pair is from selling selling Boost Master Lin. Now I get a lot of questions. These are one of those sellers you can either buy direct from or you can go through an agent and all that stuff. Personally, I go direct. I hit up their WhatsApp and talk to them on there. And honestly, that's what I recommend you doing. Some people use an agent, that's completely fine. It's completely up to you. But I'm just telling you the way that I do it. Now I've gotten plenty of pairs from these guys in the past. I'll get plenty of pairs from them in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and put their information right here on the screen so you can go ahead and check them out. Now first things first, we got the box. Just the regular old black and red Jordan 1 Nike box. Nothing too special whatsoever about that. But you do get these really nice dark red laces to put in it. And then they also give you this really cool Jumpman red like metallic hang tag, which I personally thought was a really cool, nice added touch. Now please, I don't wanna see you guys walking around wearing this still attached to your shoe, but still pretty cool. So if we take a look at the uppers, pretty much the whole shoe comprises of all patent leather. So you got the shiny red panel back here, as well as the red that wraps around the wings logo there. Closer look at that, you can see it's black. There's some feeling moving over it with my finger, so it's probably embossed, but not 100% sure, seeing as it's wrapped with all the patent leather. Leather around the ankle collar, also patent in that nice black, smooth. Side panels, black as well. Also the leather that wraps around the toe box. Swoosh has a nice slim taper and curve to it in a red that kind of matches the panels here and here. Midsole, just a nice clean, straight white, nothing too crazy. Outsoles, you got a nice dark red with a Nike hit right there on the center. Toe box, we're back to that red colorway and the patent leather. Laces, just regular black, but as I showed you before, you got the nice dark red laces as well. Tongue is just a regular nylon tongue with Nike Air and the swoosh on the black tongue tag in red. Insole of the shoe, black with Nike and the swoosh in red. But if we flip it over on this side, you can see it's embroidered right there on the inside, saying family. Cue all the Dom from Fast and Furious memes. Backside, not really much of an hourglass here, but it doesn't really matter since it goes away with wear anyway. But you got a nice little heel tab right there. Not too much tilt or curve, so that's pretty nice. Obviously, you can see the shine all over the shoe as I move from piece to piece. Just red here, here, and then the black around the ankle collar. Medial side, again, you just got that gloss all over with the red panels here and here, as well as the swoosh. And then the black side panels all the way wrapping around the toe box. Right shoe, you got the same thing. You got the nice gloss all over the shoe with the black wings logo, the red swoosh, and the red here and here for those panels, as well as the side panel being black and the leather that wraps around the toe box. Midsole color, same thing, white, just plain clean white. Outsole, nice dark red with the Nike swoosh and the actual logo right there on the center. Toe box, you got nothing new here, just red, black laces, nice nylon tongue with Nike and Air in red with the swoosh right there on the black tongue tag. Nike Air and the swoosh right there on the black insole. And again, just like the other shoe, if you turn it around right here, you can see on the inside that it's embroidered with family. Backside, just like the other one, not too much hourglass shape, but not a big deal in my opinion, and really shouldn't be that big of a deal to you either. But red here and here, as well as the heel tab being red, and then the ankle collar leather, black. Medial side to finish it off, you got the nice gloss everywhere, red here and here for those panels, nice slim tapering curve on the swoosh, and then the side panel and the leather that wraps around the toe box in a nice black pattern. All right, now if I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys, which I always try to do, Seeing pictures of these surface online and rumored to release, I wasn't super excited about these. I wasn't on the edge of my seat. 
for me, these don't really do it. They don't hit that mark that I'm looking for, you know? It's probably because I'm just not a big fan of all this patent leather. This shiny, shiny, I'm just not a huge fan of it. And I hear with patent leather, just like the Blue Chill and the Fearless Jordan ones, it's just gonna crease really ugly. And also it's gonna squeak a lot when you walk, especially like right now it's raining here in Florida. So that definitely makes shoes squeak a whole lot more. Now, if you guys are into those two colorways I just named, you're probably gonna love these and that's completely fine. Knowing Nike and Jordan brand, they suck. So they couldn't have just retroed the regular bread colorway for people like me. They had to give us some candy painted Jordan 1 and that's completely fine. I know not every release is gonna be something that I'm gonna cop and that's completely fine. That saves my wallet a whole lot more. So thank you Nike, thank you Jordan brand. But I wanna know what you guys think. Do you guys prefer these or do you prefer the actual bread colorway not candy painted let me know down below what your thoughts of just like always i appreciate you guys checking into the channel and showing some love until next time i'm dusty four kicks peace